we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a pop-out collage in Adobe Photoshop. Seen it on Instagram and I thought it would be a good idea to recreate it and make a tutorial about it. So at first we need a couple of photos. You can find them for example on Unsplash. And I've got a background which has the typical size. So let me show this under image size. So it's 2048 in width and height. Now create a rectangle, left click on the canvas and we want to divide 2048 by 3. Oh, not multiply but divide. So 2048 divided by 3. You can see it's not perfect values so we need to resize that a little bit afterwards. Let me make that red and I position it to the top left. Then I hold alt and drag a copy out of it. Another copy is needed. And you can already see that we haven't yet found the perfect position for the middle one. So I use zero keys and when I push the right one to the side, it's not perfectly sized up. So I select all of these, so the three layers, then press Ctrl T and size it to the right. Now drag copies to bottom two times. And again, we need to use the arrow keys. Just a little bit and then select them all, Ctrl T and drag it down width. You can select all of these layers by holding shift and clicking on the top and the bottom one. All right, that's the first step. We've got nine squares on top of a background and the colors, they don't matter for now. Let us use the first image. So I put it on top. Afterwards, you need an adjustment layer threshold. Play a little bit around with the scale and when you've got what you want, select them both. So the image and the adjustment layer and press Ctrl E. That way they're merged. Let me size that down, press Ctrl T. And don't worry about the overlap, we don't need that. Create a new layer on top. Use the paint bucket tool. You can press G for that, which is the short key. And just use your swatches to select the color that fits. Then put the image on top of this new layer and then change the blending mode. We need is either darken or multiply, both are fine. Afterwards, select them both and merge them again, pressing Ctrl E. And now we reposition that in our layer menu on top of the rectangle for the top left. Once we've arrived there, just right click and create a clipping mask. And this is the basic process that we now need to repeat for every square. So eight more times. I'll guide you through this once more. Drag an image on top. You can resize that pressing Ctrl T. Afterwards, adjustment layer threshold. Play around with the scale. Select both layers. Hold shift for that. When you click on them, then Ctrl E to merge them. Add a new layer, pick a color, press G for the paint bucket tool. Left click on the canvas. Put the image on top. Change the blending mode to multiply. Select them both, Ctrl E to merge them once more. Let's just say you're not happy with the results. You want to reposition that. The easiest way to do that is just to press Ctrl Z until you've arrived at the point where you haven't merged the original photo in the beginning. Once you've done that, press Ctrl T again, reposition that. Then drag the layer on top of the rectangle and a right click create a clipping mask. I'm 
I'm going to repeat this now seven more times. So I'll speed this video up a little bit. If you get lost, just go back to the first two images where I've done it in detail. All right, and this is the final one. And we're done. This is how you can create this kind of a pop art collage in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.